from a Manchester United perspective about the possibility of Gareth Southgate leaving England in the summer and then taking the reins uh, at Old Trafford. But he remains a huge favourite at 6-4, 8-1 likes of Tuchel, Lopetegui, Potter and Emery. Ah, oh, Jose Mourinho return, why not? 10-1. Hey. Uh, <laughs> Mark, it, you've got to laugh at some fans because it's ridiculous. They're saying if Gareth Southgate is hired, they're never going to support Manchester United again. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, that's probably a good thing. They're probably the fans you don't want to follow your club. But look, I think we all know that the reason Gareth Southgate is in the frame for the Man United job is not because of his purely his track record as a coach or a manager. It's because the new people at United, the new people that are running the club in terms of the football side, they have a relationship with Southgate. Dan Ashworth does. He worked with them before at the FA. Dave Brailsford also knows Southgate well from a, from working together in the past. So, in many ways, it, it kind of fits their blueprint for going forward. But ultimately. His record as a coach does not merit him being linked with a Man United job. It doesn't. It just, you know, I don't think we can look at his, his past in Middlesbrough 15 years ago. That's a long time ago. But with England, he hasn't done enough to suggest that he's the guy that's going to go toe to toe with Pep Guardiola or Jurgen Klopp or whoever it is next season and win a Premier League or win a Champions League. He's just not that guy. So I can see why Man United fans aren't happy about it, even prior to the England defeat against Brazil. I mean, listen, we, need, we live in a knee jerk society whereby, you know, somebody's great or really bad. But I think with Southgate, I think. He's always middle of the road, and that's what he is. He's middle of the road in everything he does. And I, I don't think he will ever be a Man United manager, but he could be the Man United manager by the end of the summer because that is what people at the club are interested in doing. Uh, he was, of course, asked about it, wasn't he, ahead of the Brazil game, and he said it was disrespectful uh, to talk about it, given, of course, that Ten Hag is in charge. What did you make of that, Mark? Well, I mean, that's just naive, isn't it? I mean, come on, he, he's been a manager for 20 years, and the guys will tell you that, you know... In football, managers change jobs long before managers leave their jobs. I mean, you know, Jose Mourinho was lined up long before Louis van Gaal went. And this is what happens. This is what happens in the game. So, I don't know who is suggesting was being disrespectful. Are we being dis disrespectful by talking about it? Are Man United being disrespectful by looking for a new manager? Is he being disrespectful by, you know, allowing his name to be linked with the United job by not ruling it out? Because he didn't rule it out. Mm. He just gave a kind of a bland, a bland PR statement saying that it, it's not the right thing to do. But... Nobody's been disrespectful. It's just the, the nature of football. It's the nature of any business that people look to be replaced and they find somebody to replace them before they make the replacement. I, I don't know what he's trying to say there because ultimately that's how football works. It's always worked that way and it always will. Can I ask a stupid question, Stevie? Oh, here we go. Yeah, go on. If you were Gareth Southgate, would any part of you see this and be like, do you know what? It's this. not worth it. <sighs> I'd have to think so. Is it... I mean, how many, how many managers go into a job and they walk through the door knowing that the people there don't want you? Yeah. I mean, I mean straight, straight off the bat, you're up against it. And, and I know what Augie's talking about, well, they know him and they're comfortable with it. When did that ever be a criteria for getting the, the right guy in charge of a bunch of players? That shouldn't be the criteria. The criteria should be, who can we bring in that is going to liven this lot up and get them on some sort of path forward whilst we organise to get better players. That should be the criteria. Not, we know him, he's a solid citizen, he'll say the right things like he did in this press conference, so he's our man. That makes no sense. Does it resonate with the players at all, all the noise around this as well, Naden? For example, if he does get hired... I don't know, to be honest. I think from a United standpoint, I could be speaking out of turn here, but you don't get the feeling that, say, lots of the United players currently are sort of really in love with a Ten Hag. And then you look at some of the England players who are there at United and they enjoy their time away with England. So it's not to say that, you know, he's destined to be a success because he appears to be nice and so on. But I'm sure for some of those guys, they're probably quite keen for a change. And I think the thing about Southgate is we always see the outside image. Nobody knows what it would be like on a day-to-day -day basis. And I think, you know, it's, in my opinion, it's fair to say that managers over time, you know, they do change. And the last time he was in club management was a while ago. So maybe there'll be some lessons that he'll be taking on board should he go there, which would benefit him. But it's fair to say that quite a lot of people aren't having Gareth Southgate as a manager at all. So it does leave this sort of awkward feeling. But realistically, for United, like, what do you want? When you show the list of all those favourite managers there, like, what do the fans want? What do the public want? What do we want from somebody standing on the touchline? at Old Trafford, because I don't think many of those sort of names that were listed there would be the type of thing which they'd be desperate for. Yeah, what do you want, Mark, in life? 
<laughs> well, listen, the last thing a football club should do is listen to the fans. I mean, when they're choosing a manager, that, that, is, that is the road to ruin in many ways because the fans want something that is just idealistic <laughs> and, and, you know, fantasy almost. I think that the people that are making the decision have to make the decision for the right reasons. My concern would be that they're making a choice when they, they don't really know how to make a decision. You know, Dave Brailsford and Jim Radcliffe haven't really picked a manager before. Dan Ashworth has worked in the, in the technical side at, at the FA. He didn't really choose the manager at Newcastle. He went after, you know, Eddie Howe arrived. So, you know, they're all... <laughs> All these question marks, and ultimately they have to get the guy who's going to win things, like they say. But you know, Steve was saying about you know you go for the guy that's going to shake things up. A lot of owners now they don't want people to shake things up. They want people to nod along. I mean, you know, look at Chelsea when Thomas Tuchel was dismissed after about two months of the the new ownership. Club owners want people to do what they are basically told. They don't want a disruptor, and that is the danger. That if United don't want a disruptor, they want a diplomat. Then Gareth Southgate is perfect. He's not a disruptor. He's the ultimate diplomat. But it's Man United, and I think I don't think he could turn the, the job down because he's worried about what some fans think. Because it's still the biggest club in the biggest league in the world. Sorry, Steve, but it is, and it's a massive job. <laughs> and if you're offered the Man United job, you can't turn it down because a few people on Twitter don't like you. Wow. Ah. Stevie wouldn't be here if that was the case. Uh, <laughs> just a reminder, Manchester United in action against Coventry in the FA Cup. That'll be live for you on April the 21st. We're at the semi-final stages live from Wembley. Naden will be there, I'm sure, at 10am Eastern. Of course. 